Okay, Michaela, we gotta pack this down. It's gotta be compacted really, yes. really hard, okay? It's still loose, see how loose it is? Yeah. I spread it out, but it's gotta be packed down. All right, so to pack it down, you're gonna need to use this and just pack it, okay? All the way around, I don't know, a few thousand times. Yeah, Million. no, that's not gonna work. We are digging an arena out in the grass. I'm using my tractor, just doing laps, digging up the grass. And I gotta get this level. It's high on that end over there, it's kind of a knob. And so we're gonna cut out a lot of dirt on that side and kind of make a level this way, but then also kind of slant it down this way because it's gonna drain down towards where it drains. But I'm using the box blade to just kind of tear up the grass right now and scrape all this off and I'm gonna transfer all this dirt, it's a lot of dirt, transfer it all on the backside of the barn to uh, bring that up to grade still, because I still need to do that. Just use this dirt somewhere else. But it's gonna take a while, I don't have a skid steer or anything, but I'm gonna just use our tractor and see what I can do with this. And then we're gonna put the gravel on that and then the river gravel, I guess on top of that. So that way the horses have better footing because Michaela's been jumping out in the grass and that's a little slippery and kind of dangerous. So. We're gonna just do it. We got the land, might as well put an arena here. It's always been part of the plan. I'm just doing a little bit sooner than I wanted. All right, so I got the arena cut out for the most part. It's a rectangle. It is roughly 70 by 100, I think. No, 70 by 120. And I got it pretty leveled out. Um, I think after watching Michaela do a couple of test jumps through here, I mean, it doesn't have the footing, the base layer and the footing uh, layer in yet, the sand. Um, so being real careful. I just saw her kind of jump and I think it needs to be a little bit longer, maybe a little bit wider. Uh, also what I noticed is I've got these uh, squared off, these corners. And the way, not only is she's taking the turns and everything, corners don't really make sense for that, but also dragging it. You know, when I was dragging this uh, to break up this uh, dirt uh, with the with the uh, side by side or ATV, um, you can't really get the corners, right? And also um, the grass on the outside, cutting it. You can't, I mean, this is a little bit more difficult to cut corners like that. So what I'm gonna do is extend this out in a curve and then flattened out and then another curve over there. So my corners are actually rounded. And I think that's just gonna make things a lot easier. It's gonna extend it out by another 15 to 20 feet or so and give me a little bit, give Michaela a little more space to uh, do her thing on both ends. 
on both ends. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna get the backhoe out and start digging this corner out and go a little bit deeper. I think I'm gonna go a little bit deeper on this because down at the other end there, it's still about grass level and I don't want all the sand and everything to drain off if I've gotta go higher than that because I'm gonna probably go a few inches of the base layer and then a few inches of the, the footing uh, sand. So I think I wanna go deeper than that. So I'm gonna get digging. It's gonna create a lot more dirt to put somewhere else. Check out our arena. So I saved you from the boring, you know, weeks of tractor work to get this done right. But I've finished all of the earthwork using just my utility tractor, the box blade, tearing this up and the front loader to move all of that dirt. Uh, it was a lot of earth. I moved to the backside of the barn to bring that grade up some. But we've got a pretty good uh, size arena here. And I really, I extended it out a little bit more and I rounded my corners. Um, so that looks really good there, but it cut it into the hill a little bit more. And so then I've also brought it down a little bit more. because I'm gonna go a few inches, you know, deep on each layer. And so I wanted to have it to kind of be trapped in there. And so um, I didn't want the sand to be pushing out on the sides. So I did lower it down. I've got it fairly uh, level, although it's, it crowns in the center here and it kind of slopes off to the right there and it slopes off to the left over there and it goes down to eventually where the pond's gonna be down there. I'm gonna dig the pond down there so the whole land slopes that way. Coming down this way, we're right on the, the knob of this mountain here. And then it starts to slope down that way also. So down over here where it's cut in deep, I've sloped it down here, but then the water would get trapped here. So what I did is I, I cut in a, um, uh, basically what's gonna be a road, but it's gonna be filled with gravel here so that it'll drain properly. So this will cut down to the gravel over there because the tractor, side by side, four wheeler, whatever we're gonna to use to maintain this arena, you know, I'll pull in here and there'll be a gate here. And so it'll come in, you know, from the barn over there and then up this little road and into the arena. So um, I cut all that out of there so that that way once the gravel's in here, then the water will just drain off that way. my grit ready to get tractoring I got five loads five truckloads of it it's about uh, they were 12 12 yards a piece so I've got 60 yards of grit and I'm gonna spread that over uh, this area here it'll give me an inch or two probably uh, um, no, closer to two hopefully all right here we go
You ready? Yep. We're gonna flatten that arena. Yeah. Get that packed down good. Yeah. And you don't have to do it by hand. No. <laughs> What's this? That's an emergency shut off. What's this? That is to spray water out the back. Hi. Huh? Do we want that? No, not right now. It's not necessary. We got a lot of rain last night. Okay. And it's for to keep dust down and stuff like that. Oh, okay. So. so that's on no rain. Or no water. No water. Okay. All right. You got your hydrostatic transmission there. Yep. Forward, backward, and, and the forward. yellow button is vibrate. Okay. Start her up. Okay, I got six loads of this river sand that came in from Ozark out of the Arkansas River. And this sand is a coarse river sand, so it's got a lot of pebbles in it, which is what we want. Um, so that way it won't pack, um, but also won't be too loose for the footing for the horse. So hopefully this will work. I mean, it's the best I can get right now. There's not a whole lot out there, and I had to have this shipped in you know, from pretty far away, down in the Arkansas River, down in the River Valley there. So, yeah, this is uh, about 108 tons, I believe, is what it came out to. So I'll uh, need to now spread all this out. And it should give me a few inches of uh, depth for at least this first round. I might have to get more.
trying to spread this with staying on the sand without having to go onto the, the grid over there. So I'm afraid these knobby tires are gonna tear up the base I got packed down pretty good. So I'm doing my best to spread it without going out on the, the grid.